Hey guys, it's the Prairie Banana again. Um, one of our guys asked for a breakdown of the Hex model website that Dev Huey maintains. He built it and maintained it. Um, I've had a lot of conversations with Dev Huey, um, and I ask him about like questions, and he says, "Go to Hex model. It's right there." I'm like, okay, okay. So there's a ton of information on this site. And I just did a um, an overview for myself, and I'm just going to show you the highlights of how you can perhaps use this to um, get information that you can benefit from in your crypto journey. Because this is the home page, and you can see that there's he puts the hex price, t-share rate, hex daily payout, and then and the icosa headrun price. The ceiling price is in here, which is very cool. <clears throat> And the Icosa ceiling arbitrage, Hedron ceiling, and an HSI buyback. It's pretty cool. A little calculator here. <clears throat> so if the hex price is seven cents and the t-shirt rate is twenty-six, let's see if I can do this on the fly. Then the Icosa ceiling is twenty-six point eight two. And the HSI buyback. There's more. There's more. A one T share. That I had earned bonus. Let's make it a 10x bonus update. See how that works? Okay. Let's move on to the hex. Um, some of these pages take a little bit to load, so we'll take a second. Mint communist. Here's a little note here. Mint your communist before ending your hex stakes. Um, I made that mistake. Uh, also, remember to, you might want to end your hex stakes from the app.icosa.pro dap because it'll kind of remind you to mint your hedron as well. Okay, here's the hex daily payout per T share. And you guys, if you're around on November 18, 2021, you might recall that there was a huge, oh, here it is, 23rd. Where is it? Is it? I'm trying to get on here. Huge payout when Hex 19 got hacked. Somewhere in here. We got 24 Hex per T-share that day. And every now and again, we have a, a, a nice spike, which it's nice for us, but I always think, like, ooh, who got hacked, right? Um, the Hex daily payout. What is this? Hex daily payout per T-share, and then the Hex daily payout. And the hex t-share rate, you see it ratcheting up slowly, ever so slowly. And the total of t-shares, it looks like it's starting to decline. So get your t-shares. And circulating hex is ticking up. Staked hex. There you go. And stake penalties. Yeah. There's that one when hex 19 got hacked. And the price. T-shirt price. Okay. Hedron. So what's cool about his site is you can actually, he doesn't just like post the data, but you can interact with the data with these slider um, bars right here. And I'll just pull the updated data um, for a certain Hedron day. And Hex... No, Icosa launched on Hedron Day 170, if I'm not mistaken. That was August 15th. Um, it was Day 170 for Hedron, if I'm not mistaken. So what we have here is the Hedron Days, and the Hedron that's minted on these particular days. And we have supply differences. So the green is Hedron Burned. And we'd love to see that going up, don't we? And the Hedron Mint, and then the difference between the two. So, one day, one day, we will um, be burning more than we're minting. Because I think, like, a few months ago, the supply was $112 trillion, now it's $117 trillion. That will That will come to an end. And here's Hedron Burned, the, and then the supply difference. Hedron loaned. What day was this? That was a huge. That was a 
that was a, I wonder if that was back in January when that guy was sending all those HSIs and then the interest rate daily interest rate I'm not sure what that is honestly let's go to ICOSA okay and he spells out in here the seeded liquidity um, where 3.47 trillion headroom was burned before the ICOSA contract was launched 750 billion headroom was also burned on the 12th of November. Everybody remembers that day. Um, and these headroom burns contribute to the yield of ICOSA headroom and wants the staking pools for 360 days. So it's based out for 360. So we have um, seeded liquidity, liquidity, which is going to end August 10th, I think, and then November um, 12th. And the big, the big one is going to end like August 10th, and that's the 41,657 sent to the pools daily um, and that all goes to again to the icosa header and wants of pools here's a staking overview 90 so 91 percent of all icosa in existence is staked totaling 40 million icosa so this is what is this is what is staked this is no 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 hold up this is liquid in people's wallets and this is what's staked. So now the the uh, the leagues are based on the ICOSA that's staked. Um, how I do it is I add these two together and I figure out my total ICOSA and I figure out my league position based on the total 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 ICOSA because anybody can stake a you know a a, a position. But it doesn't mean that you actually, this is how I look at it, it doesn't mean you actually are a, you know, a dolphin or a shark or a squid. Um, just because you stake that position. It's just for the, the smart contract has you stake certain links based on how much you're staking. And then the headroom staking is kind of the same thing. If you guys want a little calculator that I built for myself for um, staking, for figuring out your leagues, I can, I can do that pretty easily. Just let me know in the comments. 27% of headrun is staked. Yeah, the supply is 118 trillion. Um, what do we have down here? Just, I think it's all this data up here. It's like the pie charts in a graph instead. Mycosis staking. These are pulling out nice and fast. Staked Icosa. So three, so this is the number of whales that are, this is how much ICOSA the whales have staked that are in 360 day stakes and 270 and so on. And what's really cool is that you can like clear this out, select, I want to see all, I want to see only the dolphins and you can go, I think you click off of it and here are all of the dolphins. And then you could select the day that they started. Well, I want to go back to that. I want to see the dolphins that started the first 10 days. Well, here they are. There they are. Isn't that cool? And then if you want to um, look um, at a particular address, I don't know that you can actually look up a particular address. Let's see if we can sort by. Sure enough. So you can sort by the address. Yeah. Yep, it's good stuff, man. Dev Huey did a great job. Everybody loves this site. So we're going to see the Icosa and Hedron yield from Icosa staking. Come on, Internet. Here's the yield from staking, Icosa and Hedron. So you can see like day one, huh, day one, which was day, I want to say it was day 170. There was a ton of yield. Like it was a very happy day for everybody that was staked and had Watsas. Yeah. And then the headron yield uh, is on this side. So he puts the icosa on the left, headron on the right. 
and here are the points. So if you ever wonder, if you want to know, like, if you want to forecast, and I've done this with some of my calculators, if you want to forecast and see what you can expect for increase in points for your dilution rate, you can come here, and it's and it's always ticking up. But you see that it's not, like, dramatic. We even, like, on day 180, the 270-day stakers are, um, they can unstake on May 11th, 10th, right around in there. Um, and we really anticipated the day 180 stakers to for it to, to be quite a jump, but it really it really wasn't. I think this is probably it right here. This is probably day 90. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then day 180. Yeah, there we go. And um, so day 270 will be another tick up. Yeah, it's all good. So that's Icosa. Watsa. Yeah, I'm really um, thankful this member um, suggested that we do this. Because, I mean, for me, <laughs> I learned a lot just walking through. Um, Watsa Burns. Now, this is new, and I really like it. If you're a Watsa holder, you know, you can um, follow Dev Huey on Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter. And then um, you can just go to Hex Model, keep it bookmarked, and you can see how many um, NFTs, lots of NFTs are burned in a given day. So um, this would be yesterday. 14 were burned. I'm really astounded at the burn rate, but I like it. Everybody that holds Watsas likes it. And then today there has been one. And then he breaks it down like you can see how many dollars or M points. So every M point is equi equal to a dollar is how it works with the Watts. And you can see the value of that NFT that was burned. So there were some pretty sizable Watts burned yesterday. Wonderful. And then you can see what um, token, or what currency, if I'm not mistaken, this is the currency that um, purchased the Watts. So, quite a few um, hex, of course. Hex, Hedron. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, if you don't mind. But I think this was probably the, the currency that um, purchased the Watts. And then today. And here's the yield. Charge below show the yield each day for the Watts NFTs. And again, you can select a date range. And you see the number of points. We started out at 21.243 point million, whatever points. <laughs> and then we are down now to 20. And here's a little nugget that I had to flesh out <laughs> for myself because I'm not great with math. Dev Huey helped me with it. But like when we start, because I'm trying to figure out when, when is my yield going to double, right? So... You take your number of the number of points here, and once this gets down, it's at 21 million. Once it gets down to 10.5, then your yield will double. And here's the number of points that have been burned. Here's the yield that has going to the Watsa pool, and the Icosa, Icosa yield pool, Icosa total yield. Icosa total yield. Oh, this is for a thousand dollar NFT. And I, I don't quite understand that, but you guys probably do. And then this is the yield going to the pool in a graph. And for an NFT, thousand dollar NFT. We're almost done. HSI auctions. There's, you know, pay attention. There's a, there's a something coming up that might be of value to you. And it's right here, boys and girls. Look at that. So April 22nd, which is this coming Saturday, there's going to be 6,000 T-shares um, being ready that are going to be available to um, liquidate. And what that means is there's going to be a ton of yield coming into our wallets this weekend. So if you hold liquid ICOSA, it might be wise to stake that so you can intercept this the yield that's coming in. And the 270-day stakers, I'm sure, um, are are being tempted to end their stake 
so they can intercept that yield as well. We'll see what happens. And then you can select by um, date range in here, which is pretty cool. Total HSI, total T shares. Um, so this is all that's on the docket right now. 17, 18,000 T shares. That's beautiful. You know, and, it's, and this is a 90 day window because they go into default on day 91 and they just sit there. So this is a 90 day window plus I think the ones that are sitting waiting to be liquidated. If that makes sense. Showing the hex stake and it's sent to the echo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Updated daily. Okay. And then you can, um, again, you can sort by T-shares. You can short, sort by these different columns. Okay. Ooh. Beautiful. This one is, wait a second. It's available. Oh, it's going to be available May 4th. Look at that. Yeah, man. Well, that's going to be like right here. There we go. Yeah. Exciting stuff, man. And then he's got a couple links in here. You can sign up. Um, there's his Twitter. You can sign up for his, um, like a paid version of this, if you want. And that would be right here. Annual subscription. 15 bucks a month. All right? Thanks. If you have any comments, by all means. So I hope that's helpful. Have a good day. Bye.